four o'clock somewhere. <laughs> Hey garden maters, welcome to Corner Homestead and welcome to the first day of Vlogmas. So I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of the decorations. I have been busy trying to get some of the house decorated for the holidays. Um, I'm getting there. It's very slow, but I'm getting there. So today it is going to be the episode two of Campbell's cooking. And this time it is going to be a cheeseburger pasta. Only five ingredients, so you know the quicker and the less ingredients, always the better. And especially now that it is officially the Christmas holiday season. So we want to do something for dinner that is always quick and easy and hopefully delicious. So we're going to make this today. I've never had it before, but going to give it a shot. As always, I'm going to give you my honest opinion in the end. So one thing I have decided to do for Vlogmas, I have been getting quite a few of your suggestions and I thank all of my garden maters who have sent me a message telling me what you would like to see a little bit on Vlogmas. The most popular thing that my garden maters have said they wanted to see are re cookie recipes. So even though I may not bake all of the recipes, I am going to be sure to give you at least one cookie recipe every single day. And I will include it somewhere always in, within the video. So today, let's get going on our cheeseburger pasta. See how this is going to be for supper. Simple and easy to make. Let me show you what you need. Okay, so like I said, for this recipe, you only need five ingredients. One of them is water. Can't get any easier than that, right? We're going to need one can of tomato soup and one can of cheddar cheese soup. I actually have the Campbell's brand this time. You know it must be the holidays. All the other two ingredients we need are pasta. The recipe says to use two cups of uncooked medium shell pasta. So unfortunately I used all of my medium shell pasta up. I did have it, but I've used it all. This is a smaller shell. I'm sure it'll work just fine. Might have to add just a little bit more than what the recipe calls for. And you also need one pound of ground beef. Now this is a two pound roll I'm just going to use it all. You know I will. So that is it for the ingredients. Like I said, five ingredients. Now I do have, as always, extra cheese on hand in case I have to add that to the dish. I might have to. We'll see. So let's get started cooking this. See if I need the extra cheese and see how it's going to be. Campbell's cooking. Gotta love it. Okay, so the first thing we do, of course, is to brown our ground beef. So I'm just going to put my roll in. Just going to do this in a pot, not a skillet. So we're going to get this browned up. And then it says to drain the fat off of it once it's brown. 
So as soon as it's brown, be right back. Okay, so this has been cooking for, oh my gosh, at least 20 minutes alone. So it's all finally nice and brown, and I did go ahead and drain all the fat off of it. So now we're going to add the can of tomato soup. Then we're going to add our can of cheddar cheese soup. I want it all. Every little ounce. Okay, now it says to add one and a half cups of water. So what I did is divided it into my two cans. And I'm just going to give the cans like a rinse out. That way you get every little bit out of the inside. And do the same with the tomato soup. Stir it up a little bit in there to get it all out. There we go. And that way you waste absolutely nothing. Look how clean that is in there. And I am telling you right now, it looks to me like it's going to need some extra cheese in there. Okay. Now we're going to add our two, two cups of pasta. Our two cups of pasta are in. Now I am going to watch this very carefully because there is a chance that I may have to add just a little bit more water because I used the extra ground beef. So as this cooks, I'm just going to watch it. So basically this is it. We cover it and it says to cook it on a medium heat for 10 minutes or until the, the noodles are done. Stir it often. Turn my flame up a little bit. Stir it often so it does not stick. Okay, so I wanted to give you a peek. It's been about um, another 15 minutes. The noodles are two-thirds of the way um, cooked. Okay, so what did I do different, you're asking? I know. Don't I always? I tasted it. Uh, just the sauce of it. Very bland, very tomatoey. Um, so I went ahead and I added another half a cup of milk to it and a half inch slice of the cheap name brand Velveeta cheese block. Only not Velveeta. And I added a little bit of black pepper. And that seemed to do the trick. So now the sauce part is very good. You do have to stir it pretty much constantly because the noodles want to stick. As soon as the noodles are done, which like I said, they're almost there, um, it'll be done. Ooh, you can hear it. It smells very good. Very good. Even if it does want to stick. So about another five minutes, it'll be done. And I'll be back. Well, it's done, garden maters. Mm. Smells really good. Especially because I put in the extra cheese. You can definitely smell that, that it's cheesy now. Before it was just so tomatoey. So, it is so hot. <laughs> Go take a minute. Mmm. That's not bad at all. Mmm. Okay, so it's not hamburger helper, but it's darn tootin' good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm. So that's really good. For a quick, easy supper, I do recommend putting in the extra cheese and a little bit of milk and some pepper. That's the only three things I did different, and it definitely, definitely made a difference. So all total, 
it took me about 45 minutes to make it between the ground beef so as I said all the recipes in this book always state that they take 20 minutes that is prep time and cook time it's just not true not true so about 45 minutes still isn't bad one pot simple easy quite good I even think the kids would like it if you have children I do I think they would like it like I said it's not hamburger helper but it's close as always I always hope you try the recipes let me know what you think if you decide to so I hope you enjoyed episode two of our Campbell's cooking episode one I guess it would be for first day of vlogmas so I will be back again tomorrow not sure what all we're going to do but like I said I will always include a cookie recipe which I'm going to get ready and do right now at the end of this video I will give you a, one of my special cookie recipes that I make every year um, not sh even sure if I'm going to be able to make all the cookie recipes that I want to do this year I may not be able to do any of them but I promise you I will include a recipe on every single video during vlogmas I will be back again tomorrow and I hope you join me for every single day of vlogmas also want to say thank you very much to all of my garden maters I enjoy reading your comments so very much you truly give me a laugh when I need it you can give me a cry sometimes too but there are so many garden maters who have commented sent me a message to tell me how much they enjoy the videos how much they enjoy what I'm doing and it makes me so happy and I'm so grateful that I have each and every one of you and like I said I truly enjoy reading your comments and I hope you continue to send them to me I always try to reply to to them um, and of course I always give it a like uh, to let you know that I have read it so it does it does the old heart good to hear from my garden maters and I, I do I appreciate you also very much so until next time until tomorrow for number two of vlogmas hopefully I love you all take care God bless and I'll see you on the next video I found this at Dollar Tree isn't it cute nice little barn I just thought it was so cute. They had three of them down there. A red one, a brown one, and a white one, I believe it was. Yeah, I gotta have red. It's a barn. Not sure where I'm gonna hang it yet, but I'll find a place. <laughs>